you, ladies. Hello, how are you doing? Fantastic. How are you all doing tonight? Hey, how are you? It's been so long, Shana. I'm eating. I know, right? <laughs> how was work at the stand today, Jen? Oh, my goodness. I worked 10 hours outside, and some of it was in the sun, and I'm just so happy to be home and showered. I just got out of the shower. I am, like, cooled off and clean and oh, happy. I was going to say, you need to oil up now, you know, like coconut oil plus, like, I don't know, maybe some pepper in or something. You didn't get sunburned, did you? No, I didn't, but Good. absolutely, I do need to oil up. I And it's we're talking skincare tonight, right? I just yeah. covered myself in my... In, in my Virage moisturizer. Oh, fantastic. Oh, yes. We are doing skincare tonight. It's going to be fun. And so there's a lot to get over. Um, and so we'll start in just a second. Um, Anna Marie, I know, is just finishing up a call with someone else. Um, and uh, I need the recording privileges from her. But actually, let me see. Oh, wait. It is recording. Pfft. Forget it. Forget I said anything. All right. Well, let's go ahead and get started. And hello to Alicia as well. I'm not sure if you can hear us or talk or anything, but I want to say hello to you too. It's good to see you here. And uh, hopefully more people join us. But um, with that, let me go ahead and get started because we are talking about skincare tonight. And skincare is a pretty big topic. <laughs> as I was uh, researching everything for today's for this evening's call, um, I just realized how many different oils there are, how many different things we can use to take care of our skin. And uh, don't want to take the whole evening, but we do want to talk about this and get some really good ideas out there for anybody who may be wondering, what could I use for my skin that really works? And of course, there is an oil for that. So let's dive in. All right, so let me share my screen with y'all for a minute. Let me get this set up. And uh, okay, let's share screen. Okay, essential skincare, here we go. All right, so let me, um, let's start this out. Let's go into present mode. All right, one second while it loads, hopefully it comes up. Okay, now can you all see my screen still? Like, can you see just um, the slideshow presentation? Yep, we can see it. Awesome, yep. okay, good. I always get confused for some reason. I don't know why I'm always like, oh, it shut everything out. Okay, all right. Well, as you can see here, essential skincare. Let's get started. Okay, so I just wanted to cover some basics because Yes, there is an oil for your skin. There are many oils for your skin. There are lots of wonderful products that doTERRA offers, and we're gonna definitely go over those. However, I do wanna go over a couple basics first because I feel like with skincare, with everything, it's important to keep those things in mind. So some of the basics, and anybody can chime in if they've got some other things that they feel like really should be added here as well. Um, but a couple things I wanted to put in here, of course, are kind of like the basis of our wellness pyramid, which is gonna be, good nutrition. So eating well, right? So obviously what you put into your body is definitely going to have an effect on what get, you know, on how your skin looks. Um, and so be careful about what you're putting into your body. And uh, right now, I think most of us on here are participating in the cleanse this month, which is pretty exciting. Um, this is the, I think the first time we've really focused on doing a team cleanse. And so um, I think it's a wonderful opportunity. So if you haven't started, um, if you're able to, go ahead and start because a cleanse is a great way to um, get nicer skin because obviously that's going to help clean out your digestive tract and the cleaner you are on the outside, well, the cleaner then um, you're going to be expressed on the outside with your skin. So that's kind of my first basic is good nutrition. And then the next part that I really want to mention, kind of part of nutrition as well, um, is drinking lots of water. So lots of hydration. And I'm sure Jen probably noticed that today for you, like as you were out working in the hot sun at your produce stand, <laughs> you know, you're probably like, yes, I need more water. <laughs> absolutely. I drink a ton of water. I mean, mm -hmm. and if I don't drink water, it absolutely shows. Yep. Yep. It's true. And it was kind of interesting you know, when uh, um, Mao from Cape Verde was over here um, teaching us massage and everything. And, you know, when he was working on my skin a little bit, he looked at my skin. He's like, whoa, you are dehydrated. You need to hydrate more. And I was like, oh gosh. And so if you think you're drinking lots of water, well, maybe you are, but be, be mindful of the water that you're taking into your body. Um, it's a conference call. I'd have a call. Is someone commenting? Who is that? Someone have something to say? No? 
Okay. Um, by the way, if there's any background noise, if you're not able, um, if you're able to, please mute yourself. Um, no offense, but you know, let's try and keep the recording really nice. Um, but if you do have something to say, please chime in. I don't mind at all. All right. So hydration, good nutrition, and then also sleep. Sleep is a major one um, in getting good skin as well. I mean, obviously this is for overall health, right? Um, but we all want to get be getting a good amount of sleep. Try to get that target seven, eight hours. I know it's difficult because we all are doing a million different things, um, but getting a lot of sleep really is crucial for good overall health. And of course is really going to help your skin. And so that's another thing. And then um, one that I like to put in there um, is exercise as well, because I feel like exercise really does help to regulate your body. I know that it helps a lot with say blood sugar and, you know, kind of weight management and all that. However, I really do believe that it does have a good effect on our skin as well, just because it's helping to regulate things on the inside. And of course, take care of what's going on in the inside of your body. Obviously, that's going to help what's, you know, what you look like on the outside. So those are some basics. Now, are there any other basics that I forgot about? Is there anything else anyone wants to throw in there before we move on? No? Okay, that's totally fine. All right. So now we've got this gigantic screen of lots of oils here. And so hopefully it's not too overwhelming for you all. But really what I wanted to show here um, was just how many different options we have when it comes to our skin care um, in terms of oils. And there's even more than this. Um, but I just kind of wanted to run through some of these different things um, real quick um, just to throw out some ideas. So Melaleuca, we'll just start right there. So Melaleuca has some very cleansing properties. And of course, with our skin, well, we are taking in toxins all day long, you know, no matter where you are, it's, it's pretty hard to avoid. And so we're going to have to be cleaning out stuff. And so Melaleuca is a perfect oil to be putting on your skin, also known as tea tree oil. And I'm just going to scan over here actually to the lower right hand corner of the screen where you, um, there's a little picture of coconut oil. And um, I'm going to add that coconut oil is always a wonderful thing to add with these oils because um, um, now it's different a little bit and I'll talk about it for just a second. But now at the Pittsburgh summit, and we all know this outside of it, but um, at the wellness summit, I really paid attention to what they were talking about in terms of like skin and stuff. And I thought there were some cool points. So in terms of dilution, um, it's actually quite a good idea when it comes to skincare to dilute your oil. Um, so do a couple drops of coconut oil, you know, a little blob or whatever. I know that whenever I put mine out, I feel like it doesn't really come out in drops, kind of comes out in little blobs or whatever. <laughs> it just kind of comes out. Um, so put a little blob of coconut oil in your hand and then a drop or two of the essential oil. And that is really more than enough for your skin. But you want to do that because that's going to help this oil to actually get into your system a lot better. Um, it will help it stay a little bit more localized in your skin, which again, for skincare, that's really good. We want it to be there. And it's also going to help a lot of the essential oil to stay on your skin rather than evaporating because um, as we all know, essential oils are volatile aromatic compounds, which means that they actually um, they diffuse and they, um, they actually leave your skin pretty fast. So um, now, I mean, not to like freak you all out, but of course you can put some on your skin neat too, you know, depending on what the oil is. Um, and it'll go through your skin faster, but you will lose some of it. But when you use coconut oil and dilute it a little bit, that helps um, to keep the oil on your skin just a little bit better. Um, and it does act like um, an IV drip system. So it's going to slowly deliver the essential oil into your system, stays a little bit more localized again, which is good for skincare. Um, so th those are some ideas with um, using coconut oil to dilute your oils a little bit. And so I always recommend that. And I do use that nightly. That's what I like to do right before I go to bed. I don't usually do that in the morning time when I'm putting oils on my face or, you know, if I do at all. Um, I might do a little bit from a roller bottle in the morning, but at nighttime, just because, you know, coconut oil is a little bit greasier, you know, kind of feeling, um, takes a little bit longer to um, get absorbed by your skin. I usually do that right before bedtime, um, and, which is a good time, right? Because while you're sleeping, your body is resting and repairing, which great time to be delivering different helps to your body. All right, so that's Melaleuca. So that's really a cleansing oil. You can mix it with a little bit of coconut oil just to help clean things out. Um, at the summit, we also learned that um, Melaleuca is perfect, of course, for like things like acne. So for your teens, um, you know, if anybody has a teenager or something that is, you know, dealing with acne, I know that I even occasionally still get zits, you know, from whatever, you know, whether it be hormonal, whether it be from some you know, cruddy food that I ate, <laughs> you know, which shouldn't be doing anyway. But Melaleuca is perfect for cleaning things out. Um, also, if you are 
um, if you like to use makeup. Um, occasionally, I like to use some foundation. I don't usually just because I want my skin to breathe. Um, but if you do use some makeup, um, Melico is perfect to clean your skin up with after you take off your makeup at the end of the day. So things to keep in mind. All right. Now moving on, frankincense. And frankincense, of course, king of the oils. Just wanted to put that here because really frankincense is amazing for cellular health. So why isn't it amazing for your skin? It is amazing for your skin. So go ahead and use it. Um, and I always like what we say there. Um, we've probably heard it a time or two about frankincense kind of supercharging everything. Um, so, you know, mix a little bit of frankincense in with, you know, maybe some lavender or juniper berry or whatever you're using, and it'll kind of help supercharge that oil too. And also, um, so next on our list here is lavender. Now that's a floral oil. And lavender is the Swiss army knife of essential oils, right? We use it for a lot of things, but especially the skin because it's so good at calming. Um, there's a little bit of background noise again, just want to mention. So if anybody notices that they've got a lot of background noise around them, if you wouldn't mind muting yourself, that would be awesome. Much appreciated. Um, so now I want to insert another quick note. Um, also learned this the other week. And I thought this was kind of cool. And I believe it was Dr. Hill that talked about this. And correct me if I'm wrong, anybody who remembers. But um, I believe Dr. Hill talked about this. And what he said was, when it comes to your skincare, really, you want to have a twofold effect. So you want to be supporting the underlying structure of your skin. And to do that, you might use a wood oil. Wood oils are very good at supporting that underlying structure of your skin. And then for kind of that top layer that everybody sees, you might use a, a floral oil. Floral oils are wonderful for that top layer of skin just to help it, you know, look even nicer, you know, more glowing or whatever you want to call it. Um, but use a floral in combination with a wood oil um, to help support both, you know, areas of your skin, that underlying structure that we don't really see, but then also support it with the floral oil on top of that. So you could use lavender, you could use geranium, rose if you have it, um, Roman chamomile, any of those. Um, and then for, of course, the underlying structure, for, you know, you could use a wood oil, you know, of course, frankincense always comes to mind because that's amazing. <laughs> it just is. And then you also have myrrh oil, which comes from trees. And then you have Hawaiian sandalwood, um, you know, and then just regular sandalwood too, of course, right? I always like Hawaiian sandalwood because it just smells really divine. Um, but that's an idea for how to take care of your skin. So when I make a roller bottle for my skin, um, you know, normally I just use Immortel and I'll talk about that in, you know, a couple minutes. Um, because that's the special for this month, this month, which Jen and Shauna did a wonderful job talking about last week. Um, and so hopefully you all have used Immortel. We'll get to that. But if you're making just a roller bottle, you know, kind of your own mixture or whatever, um, use a wood oil plus a floral oil um, to help support, you know, most, you know, the entire structure of your skin. All right. So now moving on here, I know there's a lot to get through and we probably won't touch on all of them. You know, I might touch for a second, but not too much. Um, but juniper berry, I thought this was actually worth mentioning um, for just a moment because I thought this was kind of cool. So doTERRA, if you go to the doTERRA website and um, look at, they have a virage, they have a whole presentation on the virage system, which well, again, I'll, I'll get to that in a minute too. But inside of that presentation, I thought there was a really cool study that they mentioned. And it's called the inhibition of elastase activity by essential oils in vitro. And I'll post up the presentation if y'all are interested in looking at it. It's just a little PowerPoint that doTERRA made about the Barrage system. But in it, they had this um, article about these different oils. And in their, in their presentation, they specifically mentioned juniper berry and how juniper berry helps to inhibit um, elastase activity, which they do believe leads to aging. So I thought it was kind of cool because here in the abstract, we see elastase is an enzyme which degenerates dermal elastin. And here it says elastase activity is believed to contribute to cutaneous wrinkling and aging. So um, kind of cool, right? Like that we find out down here then in the results that elastase activity was inhibited by various essential oils, especially by those oils derived from lemons, juniper, and grapefruit. So, um, now we're probably all wondering, okay, well then why don't I just go dump lemon and a grapefruit all over my face, right? Well, <laughs> so you wanna be a little bit careful with that, right? Because the, um, also keep in mind that citrus oils, they are photosensitive. So you wanna be careful with those, especially during the day. Um, the recommended time after you use some of those citrus oils is 12 hours, right? So you really wanna be careful, especially if you do spend a lot of time in the sun. Um, but it's also mentioned here that juniper was effective in inhibiting elastase 
which is why I think doTERRA uses it inside of their barrage system because it's not photosensitive, right? It's not going to cause your, you know, your, you to get sunburn more. Um, so keep in mind juniper berry when you're coming up with another um, home blend or whatever. Um, but I thought that was kind of a cool study. So here, let me get back to where we were. Um, I have something to say. Oh, please um, do. Yes. I recently had someone tell me their child has terrible acne and they tried all different things, HD clear and some other oil blends and their magic blend that they just discovered includes juniper berry. So Ooh. completely different note on skincare and juniper berry, but I think that's juniper, fantastic. No, I was, think that's wonderful. It was juniper berry, cedar wood and lavender. And they said that, I mean, for, they used the oils a ton and it had been, I mean, they've used them for a couple of years and they've never found one that just really worked. And it's also possible that in trying these other oils or skin got to the point where it was ready, you know, and it was changing all along, but they yeah. said when they used this combination, it like was almost overnight results. That is fantastic. But, and I think that's good to note because you're right. You know, not everybody, you know, and it may have been changing all along. I, I like that you pointed that out. I think that, you know, is absolutely true because and just they were having improvement. They were having improvement, but it wasn't, okay. it wasn't, you know, complete relief. Mm -hmm. And then they sure. did. Yeah. Well, I think that's yeah. cool though. So like there were those slow improvements and then they use this and then bam, which I think yeah. is kind of cool because you said it was frankincense, lavender, and juniper berry. No, it was cedarwood, cedar juniper wood. berry, and lavender. Okay, there we go. Well, and I think that's kind of cool because that highlights the idea that take care of the underlying structure, right, with the cedar wood, you got the top, you know, kind of topical that we all see, you know, with the lavender, and then some juniper berry in there, which I like juniper berry, and I always think of juniper berry as a detoxifying oil. So, you know, combine that with a wood oil and a floral oil, and you got a pretty killer combination there. So I think that's really yeah. cool. You have to keep that one in mind. Yeah. This mom was like, juniper berry, that was the magic, you know, that was the one. Because I yeah. think they tried all their combinations with the others. So it was, yeah. So you made Very me think cool. of it, juniper berry. I'm going to add it to my mix. Absolutely. Seriously. No, I think that's a great idea. And actually, I'm going to write that one down. Just, you know, when I do come across, you know, teens or anybody who has any problems with acne, I think that's a wonderful idea. So I love when you all share these blends and these ideas of things that work. Please keep sharing them. Like, I love that, Jen. So thank you. I appreciate that. And that's what really makes these presentations rich, you know, because they're just so full of great information like that. All right. Well, love that. Okay. So geranium, another floral oil, very good for helping to tone the top layer of the skin. Let's move on to helichrysum here on the right hand side. I can't really see it because of my little zoom bar here on the side. Hopefully that's not inhibiting your view either. But anyway, helichrysum over here on the side, amazing oil. You know, I don't think we could talk enough about it, but it's amazing for kind of everything, very much healing. Um, I know that Alicia, I don't know if you can talk at all, but I know that she had an amazing, um, experience with helichrysum, hope she doesn't mind me sharing, but using it for a burn scar and really helping to clear up the skin and to rejuvenate it. I thought that was really neat. And I've also used it for um, just really helping with the overall quality of my skin. Um, it really does help to heal things. And, you know, yeah, so heck, helichrysum, like it's just a magical oil. It's wonderful. So use it. Um, and then myrrh down here, another wood oil, wonderful oil for scarring as well. Good for cellulite, all kinds of things. And again, a lot of these have similar benefits. So, you know, you don't, you may not want just one oil, you know, maybe try a combination. Um, but myrrh is wonderful as well. Peppermint. Um, I put peppermint on there mostly because of its cooling effects on the skin. So again, if you got sunburn, which is a very basic, you know, thing that can happen to your skin, um, try some peppermint, you know, with some coconut oil and rub it on there and it will definitely help to soothe the sunburn also with some lavender as well I, I really feel that i should mention lavender there for sunburn as well um the two of those it's going to help cool the skin and then help to soothe the burn and so that you know not very painful which is important all right then i also wanted to put roman chamomile on there too because that has very soothing effects on the skin too so one combination i've liked and i've used it before was i um, mixed some lavender with roman chamomile and that actually helped quite a bit with my pores um, and actually, I believe that's in one of the pore reducing toners that doTERRA has. And we'll get to that when we talk more about the skincare systems. But Hawaiian sandalwood, another great oil for structural support, right? You know, for helping that nourishing that underlying layer. Um, that's another precious oil that you should absolutely try. And that's also in the Immortel blend. And then I added here, last of all, coriander, just as another idea, if you haven't tried it before. Um, this one is, was introduced to me, I think, probably like a year ago or something, I remember one of our uplines, she was like, oh, you should try coriander. It's good for um, just kind of helping to tone the skin, really helping with complexion. 
And I tried it and I absolutely loved it. So if you're looking for another oil, if you kind of feel like maybe you want to try something new for your skin um, and just want to help um, improve the overall appearance of your complexion, try some coriander. Um, I did a drop of that in some coconut oil and I even put some in a, in a roller bottle later on with some frankincense and lavender and some other things. Um, but the coriander itself worked really quite nicely. Um, so that's that. So that's that massive long list of oils there. Are there any other experiences? Yes, I would love to share what? just the healthy skin cell Please blend do. that we, you know, my, another story with my father, and many of you have heard this, but his, um, you know, he's had skin cancer lots of times, and we are always trying to come up with blends to help him have healthy skin. He's in the sun a lot. And our favorite blend has been frankincense, Hawaiian sandalwood, myrrh, and a little bit of geranium oh. in fractionated coconut oil. And he's had great success with that blend to the point where he's gone back to the dermatologist and she said, nope, you're, you know, you're good to go. Where they were kind of putting off some time before doing something and you know, allowing him to try the oils to see if it worked, and they did work. Wonderful. So just I to share that. Healthy, healthy skin fantastic. cells. I think yeah. that's wonderful to know. And how often was your dad putting that on? Um, originally, he had a spot on his back, and we used straight frankincense when I first got involved with the oils, and it completely made the spot shrink up, cool. you know, and the dermatologist saw that too. But this time, um, he was trying to avoid using certain things on his skin, and he for about a month he put it off for a month and he applied the oils three times a day okay. you know i gave him a roller and he applied it at, at least twice a day but i tried to get him to do it three or four times a day mm -hmm. and he did it for you know it was maybe four weeks and mm -hmm. when he went back she was like nope you're in the clear so wow. he was very happy and excited about that because it was on his face um you know he just he's spent his whole life in the sun and is always kind of sure. battling the unhealthy cells yeah, man, that's giving me ideas. I feel like, you know, a lot of people, because I'm, you know, from Hawaii and all that, and so I feel like I meet a lot of, you know, folks over there that get skin cancer, and so I think that's wonderful to know. Um, yeah, so Hawaiian sandalwood and frankincense, and then it was a little bit of myrrh and a little bit of geranium, but Hawaiian sandalwood, there are studies with Hawaiian sandalwood and healthy skin cells. Awesome. Hey, if you, if you know of any um, studies that are handy, um, that are available to you or anything, um, if you want to, go ahead and post that up in our group, because I would love to see yeah. that. I think that's fantastic. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I'll, I'll find some. Oh, wonderful. Yep. I love these experiences. Again, folks, like if you have wonderful experiences like this, where you've seen something just really work, please jump in and share it. Because seriously, like I've already learned like two great ideas here from Jen. And I'm just like, oh man, I haven't tried that before. You know, and I have friends that need this. So be taking notes and please share because this is how we learn truly. Okay. Well, now from that long list, Let's just go to two. <laughs> so I just wanted to bring up these. These are some blends that doTERRA has, you know, just, just want to throw those out there. So HD Clear, which is kind of traditionally the oil blend that is given to teens, you know, and other people who, you know, just struggle with acne. I use it too um, occasionally, but, you know, I love, Jen, how you threw in there about the other blend, you know, um, cedarwood, lavender, and juniper berry. You know, that's another option. Um, start making your own blends um, for different issues, whether it be acne, whether it's, you know, skin cancer, whatever you have, um, but try out some different things. But here's one option that doTERRA does have already made. So if you want to try that, you know, if you have a teen or anybody else that's struggling with acne, that's a great option. Um, I know that there's Melaleuca in there, of course, because it's very cleansing. And then I think there's Wood. there is like black cumin and, you know, there's a couple other things in there. So kind of a good blend. I even think it smells good. Um, but then here on the left side is Immortel, the anti-aging blend, but really it's just good for all things skin and just really a great oil for a lot of different things. And um, inside of this blend, we have most of the precious oils that um, doTERRA has to offer. So we have, well, just precious oils, period, really. So frankincense, lavender, myrrh, helichrysum, rose. Um, did I miss any in there? I think those are most of them. Um, but those are some amazing oils inside of this roller bottle and, and one of the only ways that you can get rose, right? Um, and I use this a lot and what I like to do, you know, I think, you know, I learned this from you again, Jen, I thought it was a great idea. Um, in order to conserve this roller bottle, um, because again, it's such a precious blend, what I do is I put a couple drops of it or, you know, as best I can, you know, it's a roller bottle, so it comes out a little bit messy, but I put a few drops of this into another little roller bottle and then top it off with coconut oil so that it lasts a lot longer. And so I've done that and uh, that makes it go a lot longer because of course, 
you know, this, this blend, there's no coconut oil in that Immortelle. That's just straight up, you know, all those oils combined in one, which is awesome. Um, but since it's so potent, right, you know, it's just very straight up oils there. You can go ahead and make your other roller bottles. I kind of call that the stock bottle. Go make yourself some roller bottles and make it go further. And again, in case you're not aware, which most of you probably are, but if you place a 200 PV order this month, you get this one free, which that's a pretty darn good deal because Immortelle is a bit more expensive, but it works really well. And also just as a side note, we've probably all heard this before as well, but just in case you hadn't, um, you can also use Immortelle as a deodorant, which a little bit pricey, but you know, if you have any worries, you know, maybe like cancer or whatever, I know that a woman who presented to us up in Pittsburgh, you know, again, you know, I've heard this from her twice where she was like, yeah, I use Immortelle as a deodorant. It works really well. And also because you have a lot of lymph nodes around, you know, your pits. <laughs> and so, you know, not a bad idea to put such a precious oil around there too. So ideas, ideas. Any experiences with Immortelle that anybody wants to share before we move on? Well, of course, I have my wonderful Broken Bone Helichrysum in there story with my dad, yeah. and I will post that story soon to Project Touch oh, instead of you. telling it here. Everyone has pretty much heard it, but I love Immortelle for that. It, you know, worked mm -hmm. wonderfully at helping him with his broken ribs, mm -hmm. um, but also improved eyesight, improved hearing, you know, all with using Immortelle, which I think, I mean, where it was measured. So mm -hmm. I think that's pretty remarkable. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's really cool. Yeah, I've also used Helichrysum myself just for eyesight. And I did notice a couple points just because I have really bad eyes. I'm almost legally blind. <laughs> and so, um, you know, not that I'm saying, you know, go use essential oils, they'll cure your eyesight. Because um, no, like I still need glasses, absolutely. But I noticed that Helichrysum, and then I used a little bit of Immortel before, um, you know, and there's there may be a correlation, who knows, maybe it's several things. But I did notice that my eyes were a little bit better and didn't have astigmatism anymore. So kind of cool. Um, but moving on. All right, so this is the last part of our presentation. And again, we could do a whole nother presentation on each of these systems um, because they are pretty darn cool. And I've used a little bit, I've mostly used the Barrage system. I haven't used a lot of the Essential Skin Care line. Um, I have used the Pore Reducing Toner um, mostly from the other one and I know that works really well. But I just wanted to bring these up um, in case um, you didn't have a system yet and you were wondering about doTERRA's skincare line um, these are some really wonderful systems, um, especially Barrage. I mean, I'm more familiar with that. I don't know if anybody has a lot of experience with the other skincare line, um, but I do love Barrage. I use the facial wash. And when I was staying with Anna Marie, totally uh, used the rest of her system as well. Thanks, Anna Marie. Really appreciate it. Um, but I love the Barrage skincare line. There's Immortel infused in there and just so many other oils. And um, it just works so well. Um, I know that in the Barrage system, you have wild orange, you have basil. I think Mel Luca is also in there. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but that's a wonderful facial cleanser um, to start things off. And then you have your toner, which I think someone said you could also use that to like set your makeup, something weird like that. I don't know, maybe also it's like a hairspray, something weird. You can repurpose it. You can use it for other things, but the toner works really well too. Um, just helping with pores and all that. And then you have here the Barrage Hydrating Serum, which is infused with Immortelle. And I think it has, of course, like jojoba in there. It's got, you know, aloe extract. It's got all kinds of good stuff in there. Very, you know, just very, you know, nourishing for your skin. And then you have, I believe that's the Barrage Moisturizer, which then, of course, moisturizes everything and just really resets it nicely. Um, and so that's really nice to use before you go to sleep at night. Um, just again, you're resting and repairing. Why not give your body some, you know, extra boost from some wonderful helps like Barrage? So that's a wonderful system. And then let me just cover real fast, essential skincare line. You got here your facial cleanser, which is infused with melaleuca and peppermint. And then you of course have a toner um, to help with the, um, with the pores, which I've used that before. I actually really like it, it as Roman chamomile in there, um, lavender, ylang ylang. And so that one actually works really well. I use that usually after I do like the um, mud mask, which again, the spa products, pff, we could talk about that all night too. Um, but then you have here the tightening serum and then you have a hydrating cream. So it's kind of similar to the Barrage system. Um, it's a four-step system as well. It's got that cleanser, the toner, you know, a tightening serum of some sorts, and then you got like a hydrating, you know, moisturizer at the end. Um, so both of these systems are really great. Um, are there any experiences that anyone wants to share with them or any questions that you might have? Hey, Megan, it's Shauna here. Hey, Shauna. Um, I actually started with the anti-aging system hey. first. Yes, and okay. 
Go ahead. And I really enjoyed it. But now I, I've started to use the Virage system, mm -hmm. um, mostly in the morning. And then I save the anti-aging for night. It, okay. it was a tip that we heard at the summit in Pittsburgh. Yeah. There is another um, system that I want to bring up, though, the Reveal system. Yes. The exfoliating. Oh, that up. Yes, go ahead. I love that. Yes. That stuff is amazing. It's a two-step process. I think it has um, wild orange and lime. lime, maybe. You're right. And it, yes. yes, so you exfoliate, and then you put on this the second part, which is like, it just rejuvenates your skin. And I have noticed that my my skin is looking better because of it. Mm -hmm. It's it's pretty amazing. <laughs> Yes. Oh, I'm so glad that you brought that up. I love the reveal system. And yes, you're right. Wild orange and lime. Um, and so yes, first you exfoliate with it, you know, scrub off that dead skin. And then you use a refining polish is what the second step is called. And I love it too, Shauna, like seriously, oh my gosh, folks, like if you want quick <laughs> results, use the reveal system because it works fast. And um, I like to then, you know, use like, you know, say maybe like some immortel, you know, with some coconut oil mm -hmm. on my face afterwards. But Oh my gosh, quick results with the reveal system. Thank you for bringing yes. that up. That's a wonderful oil. Oh, yes. Okay. And I just have oh, wonderful. Anna Marie, go ahead. Wonderful to see you. Yeah. Um, a couple of things. Sorry, I'm driving. But um, first of all, it was really fun when I was actually staying over at Alicia, which is another team member. Um, mm -hmm. to actually see these skin care products in her bathroom because I didn't take them with uh -huh. me. And like, oh, like, can I use them? I was like, of course. So it was really fun, a little bit of a home feeling when I actually saw the same skincare product. So it was mm -hmm. really fun. Um, the other one I want to say, and I don't know if you touched upon it, I, I, I listened to most of the call, but not all was the mud mask. And um, I touched on that yet, so go ahead if you want to. Are you going to touch upon it? Because I really love it. But okay. Probably not yet. I mean, I touched on it just like for a second, but you know, okay. go ahead and talk about that actually, because that is another wonderful one to add to this whole thing. Here, and I'm yeah, the, the mud mask, um, my daughter loves especially Amarins, who doesn't use too many products. So it's kind of interesting that she was drawn to that one. But she really loved the mask. Um, she did use it a little bit less long than for, at first because she found that it made her skin a little bit red. Mm -hmm. um, but then she used it a little bit less um, in terms of time. She did... I think she cut the time in half and she felt much better. Now, she also said like it really made her skin feel really good even when it got red. So, um, so it just was a little bit of redness, but that actually disappeared really quickly. But that's yeah. a really wonderful way to kind of cleanse, right? And it comes, it has Amazon, Amazonian mud in there, actually. So, um, and when we went to the you're going down to the Amazon this month, and so you so it, it's, it's very cleansing. That's right. <laughs> now, say, both of my daughters love the mud mask as well. That's that's like something they can use consistently is the mud mask. Yep. And as we also learned, you can use the mud mask as a deodorant. Haha. <laughs> Sounds kind of funny, doesn't it? But actually, I have used it. It does work. <laughs> I have too. It did work. I'm like, oh my goodness, it actually works. <laughs> so, it's funny. I love the mud mask too. I have to try it as a deodorant. <laughs> use it I, i'm serious like it, it's kind of funky like it's a weird idea but it does work um i actually mixed it with a little bit of wild orange i usually change the oil like i'll use like maybe frankincense wild orange or whatever i like um um but yeah i'll mix like a drop or two of essential oil with some mud mask and just rub it under there and it actually works really well so there's an idea if you're looking for another deodorant um but yes i love the mud mask and so just a couple notes but it has juniper berry in there, again, detoxifying, right? Because that's what we want to do with the mud mask. It's to help open and clean out your pores. Um, and so there's juniper berry in there. And then there's also myrrh, um, along with those wonderful Amazonian clays, um, which Anna Marie's totally going to bring us back some, right, when she goes down to Brazil next month. And we'll be making our own mud masks. It's going to be legit. It's going to be really cool. And uh, then we'll just add some, you know, dash of myrrh and juniper berry. Sounds good, Megan. We'll do that. Oh, yeah. It's gonna be Megan, fun. I wish that I could do a bunch of hearts on this because I love your presentations. If I could just be like tapping the screen and sending hearts, I'd be doing it left and right. Oh, gosh. Well, you know what? Here is a heart for you, man. <laughs> I love it. Thank you. Oh. Gosh. I just love, I love doing these things because I love hanging out. And I, I realize that we're a little bit over time right now, but I just, I f I'm having too much fun with this because this is an awesome presentation. I could talk about this stuff all night. And seriously, there's like enough stuff from, you know, essential oils and just all kinds of little tidbits that we could talk all night. Plus with all of your experiences. Oh yeah. Like we could go on for like a week or something, but we can't do that right now, unfortunately, but I'll accept the hearts. I really like that. So thank you. 
Um, but anyway, so yes, it is about 734, but um, are there any more experiences or tips on skincare from you ladies? Because again, we have been deeply nourished tonight with wonderful information on skincare. Is there anything else that we want to add there? I don't, I don't know if you mentioned it at the beginning, but sleep is very important. You must get your rest. If you're not resting, it will show on your face. <laughs> Trust me, I know. <laughs> so true. Well, I mean, the quickest way to tell if someone is rested or not, right, is, you know, you look at the little, like, bags under their eyes, and you're just kind of like, whoa, yes. <laughs> hey, you need to sleep. <laughs> yep. I love that, Shauna. Thank you. And that is true. Like, I can always tell, you know, like when I had a good night's sleep versus when I didn't, like my skin just looks a little bit more sallow, just kind of looks kind of not rested. doesn't look good. So yes, that is one of the basics of skincare. So like we said earlier, yeah, like sleep, nutrition, exercise, hydrate, you know, very important things. And then of course, once you do those things, that's kind of our pyramid right there. That's the basis for our pyramid. Um, then you're going to add on the oils and, you know, mix an essential oil with some coconut oil for that nourishing, you know, extra nourishing effect, you know, and then to help um, really localize it, you know, acts like a little IV drip system. Um, and then, you know, if you want to, of course, use the skincare lines because doTERRA has some phenomenal things there. And actually, I like what you're saying, Anne Marie, like when I visited Alicia too, you know, hopefully you listen to this at some point, Alicia, because I thought this was so cool when we visited your house. Um, that you had both skincare lines sitting there in your bathroom. I felt totally spoiled as a guest. I was like, ooh, which one am I going to use tonight? Like, wow. Um, so I'm like, ooh, but let's all visit Alicia all the time. Um, but yeah, so either skincare system works great. So, you know, whatever you use, you know, maybe try using another one. I don't know. You can never have too much. Um, but anyway, oh, yes. can, I, can I add one more thing? Because oh, please the, do. The, the one thing for men, for the variety system um, and the toner, um, that really works very nice after shave. And yes. actually, Mal took mine. I didn't realize, but he took oh. mine with me. Oh, <laughs> he, did, oh. he did ask earlier if he could use it. I'm like, sure. Anyway, but, um, but so for the men, it's actually really nice after shave. Yes. So, what he meant to say there was, can I use it forever? That's <laughs> right. <laughs> Yes. Wonderful. Yes, actually, I do remember learning that too. And we never want to neglect our men because our men are just as important. Your skin is just as valuable as a woman's skin. And even if we don't talk about, you know, we don't really market to men usually, but your skin is just as important. And especially, you know, men are shaving right all the time. And so, you know, I know that Colin, you know, he has to shave every freaking day for the Navy. So it's kind of ridiculous. And that's hard on the skin. Um, and so yes, you know, use the Varage toner as an aftershave. That's a wonderful idea. Um, and heck, you know, you can use any of the other oils too. So I have one more quick thing. I know we're trying to wrap up and that's no, just, no, that I, I love to put Immortel in my regular bottle of um, body lotion, you know, Ooh. and I would mix it with doTERRA's, but I wish they need a pump for a body yeah. lotion, but, yeah, pump you know, but I put a little um, Immortel in my body lotion that's unscented and I feel like it's just, you know, it really kicks it up a notch and helps hydrate my whole body. Oh, I love that idea. Oh, yes. And that's kind of what I've been doing. And actually, I like that idea. Because what I usually do, I rub like a little bit of, you know, Immortel in the palm of my hand or something, because you know, it's in a roller bottle. Um, and then I put a little blob of doTERRA's and lotion on top of that. Yeah, it's not quite the cleanest system. I like what you're talking about there. And maybe we can tell, you know, maybe you should tell doTERRA that, you know, that they need to hurry up and, you know, get a pump top or something for their lotion. That'd make it yeah, nice. Because right? I love their lotion, but it's, mm -hmm. You know, I have like a giant, but I'm in the sun all day long. You know, my skin gets dry. I, I hydrate a lot from the outside and inside, but I'll use, you know, I'll use some other brand like Cetaphil or Lubriderm and I put Immortel oil in there and it's awesome. That is a great idea. I love that. And I've been trying to do more of that lately too. You know, like ever since Mao, you know, was like, oh, your skin is not hydrated. I was like, oh boy, I need to pay more attention to my skin <laughs> and not just my face. Um, I think that one of the things I get stuck with is, you know, I, I kind of get stuck in this rut of like, oh yeah, my face, my face is the only skin on my body. Ha <laughs> ha, jokes, <laughs> man. Like the entire body is covered in skin, right? That's the largest organ in your body. And I can't remember what they said. I think it was like every 40 days or something, your skin, like your entire like layer of skin is replaced or something. I can't remember. Like, so what, whatever it was, I remember like we, we replace our skin more than snakes do. So, you know, it needs a bit more attention and it's your entire body. So lotion up <laughs> or use coconut yep. oil whatever. But wonderful. Oh, thank you ladies so much for your comments. Loved it. 
wonderful presentation on skin. Um, so, you know, distribute this to all of your team members because I think there were some wonderful ideas presented in here. And um, of course, you know, give your comments to and send them in if there are any more ideas because again, this is how we learn and there's just no better way. I mean, community learning, this is great. So, all right, well, let's finish up the skincare presentation. It's now seven, about 7.40, um, but I don't have too much to talk about for the business portion tonight. Um, some, a couple things that I wanted to mention um, are things that we've talked about before, um, but follow up. So I wanna bring this up again because anybody who is interested in pursuing the business with doTERRA, um, it's all about the follow-up, you know, really, you know, you talk to people in the beginning and stuff, you introduce them, provide them with a wonderful experience of essential oils. And so then they get really excited and they're like, okay, wow, great. You know, and then they sign up, they get their oils, which is really cool. And then after that, it's, you know, the temptation a lot of the times for folks is then to do nothing with their oils because they maybe don't know what to do with their oils. Um, or, you know, maybe someone didn't sign up yet. Um, you know, maybe you didn't give them enough follow-up or whatever. Um, but so follow up. Um, and there are many ways to do that. And I really want to put a plug in for what we're doing at noon this week. And, you know, we'll see what happens after this week, kind of a little bit of a trial run. It's already almost Wednesday, so it's only three more days, you know, but you want to try it out um, because it's such a great place to get up your energy. Um, Sean and I were joined Anna Marie today on our noon call. Um, you know, we just hung out on Zoom and we did a meditation to begin with so that we could all get into this bigger space, you know, just into this really cool place where we're a lot more expansive and we're ready to talk to people, you know, kind of shifting that thought from like, okay, you know, I'm just, I'm going to text this person to, Oh, you know, let's give them a phone call. Um, which I know sometimes can be nerve wracking. I know that for myself, you know, my, usually my first instinct is to be like, Oh, I'm just going to send them a text, which, at times, that's all a person wants. I, I will put a note that sometimes, you know, a person, they don't like to talk on the phone, so you text them, you know, talk to them however they want to, right? But a phone call is such a wonderful way to connect with people. It's faster, number one, <laughs> and it's a wonderful way then to really share your good energy with that person and really quickly figure out what they need rather than having to type out a million characters on your phone. Um, you know, again, not knocking texting, because I think texting is great. You know, it's a very wonderful, convenient way, not only for you, but also for the person at times, um, but consider phone calls. And so if you want some extra help with that, come on our call at noon, um, starting tomorrow, just use this regular link that you use to get onto the Tuesday night call, but come on to our noon call. And, you know, we'll probably continue doing it next week. Again, this, you know, this week, we kind of just want to see how it goes, you know, maybe refine it a little bit. But really, I think we've got a wonderful thing going here because um, it's wonderful to support each other. Sometimes you really just need to talk to a team member to get your energy up so that then you can go spread that good energy to the people that you're, you know, maybe wanting to bring in a new prospect or someone who's already on your team. You know, follow up is especially for people who are already on your team. It's not just for new prospects. It's especially for people who are on your team because you know, this is your community. These are the people that you want to work with long term. And so you absolutely want to be nurturing that relationship with them and growing them. And uh, so this is a wonderful way to get your energy up. And then just to get into that space where you're able to sense what your team needs faster. Um, so any comments on that? Any questions? Any thoughts? I just have one um, additional comment, Megan. It's, it's a lot of fun, actually. What I, yeah. what I, one thing I realized is, is that sometimes it can be, I mean, we can keep on putting off, right, to call people because it can be nerve wracking. It can be something that's extra. And if you actually sit down like we did today, and like you said, we did a little meditation, got into the right energy, and then you just do it. Um, we, you both had great experiences. You both had good experiences with doing it. And it, it can be, and even if, we, if you don't have a good experience, then you can briefly talk about it afterwards and let go of it. But I think um, to have a dedicated time and to do that and to spend half an hour, even if you're on lunch, if you're working, take your lunch break at 12 or 12.30 and come and join us. Um, if you make it a habit to spend half an hour or an hour a day following up with people, calling them once a day um, during the week, my goodness, I think we're going to explode. Uh, yeah. I, I, just had a, I just had a dinner after just, I just, that's what I came back from with um, a team member that's been a member for two months now. 
and it was so much fun. It was so much fun. And we just went out, had some appetizers and um, just talked about the oils and what she was doing and what she wanted more. She had all these questions and we talked about the business and we talked about LRPs and it was just a lot of fun just having appetizers at a restaurant. And, and I think sometimes we make it so hard and we make it so like, oh, I got to do this. No, it's fun, guys. It's fun to do this. So make time for it because it's really a lot of fun. I like that. That sounds fun. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. Let's make it fun, right? And the more fun you make it, the more likely you are to do it. So, you know, maybe you need to get out of your house. I know that for me, like I, you know, I'm in my apartment a lot, you know, just because it's convenient for getting work done on my computer and stuff. But at the same time, you know, get outside if, you know, that helps you, you know, but do whatever you need to do. But do try to make it a habit to come on these calls this week, because I mean, that's, I, I really do, you know, agree with what Anne Marie's saying here that I think it is going to explode our structures here. Um, whether it's following up with people that are already on your team um, and just figuring, you know, just asking them simply, what do they need? I actually did that for part of um, the call today, you know, just reached out to another team member and was like, hey, what do you need? Like, what's going on? And just chatting with them, you know, catching up, you know, whether it's just about old stuff or whatever. Um, and then also, you know, new prospects and stuff, you know, to, you know, reach out to them. You know, I've got lots of contacts, you know, from the past couple of weeks that need some love and attention. Um, but the call on um, the noon call is a great way to get together, get up the energy and get it done. <laughs> um, so that we can get that motivation just to keep getting things done and try that this week, try it again next week. But the more you do it, the more of a habit it'll become. And then, you know, whether or not it's noon or not, you know, or whatever, you know, maybe whatever time of day, you'll just be ready to follow up with people and it'll become so habitual it'll just become part of your daily routine, which that is a best practice to incorporate um, into your daily routine for your business. So, um, so that is the noon call. And that is all about follow up. Um, we've got a, we've got an awesome community here, ladies. Um, and any gents that might listen in, um, we really do have a special community here. Um, I keep seeing that time and again, everywhere I go, like, I feel like it just keeps getting reiterated. I keep meeting people that have signed up for doTERRA or whatever, you know, they got their oils, but then there wasn't any follow-up, you know, they didn't really get much support. And so I'm really seeing just how awesome we are, like, you know, tooting our own horn here, but uh, we are a pretty awesome community. And so let's keep it, let's keep it an awesome community and let's keep growing it and uh, keep letting our team members know about what's going on, keep incorporating them in. Um, Cause you know, if they don't know about it, well, they can't participate in it. Right but let's keep that our community growing and let's keep tightening it up because we really do have a wonderful team here. Um, so those are my thoughts for tonight about follow up, um, just kind of for the business portion, what other thoughts are out there? Maybe I just want to add one thing and um, I, I, only you and Jen, I think will recognize the name, but Jared Hewitt is a mentor of mine. It's, oh. It has been my mentor for the last two and a half years. Uh, he's an energy healer. He's awesome. And I just had my 30 minute um, talk with him only once a year. That's what happens to me. And in the past, it's always been a lot of fixing. And this time in the beginning, we're almost like, there's nothing going on. And he said, like, Anna Marie, it's so clear. And you are having so much fun. And the, the whole movement and the people around you. And, and, and you were talking a little bit about the business. And he said, it's so clear. It really is so clear. And um, I'm going to put myself on screen for a second because I want you guys to almost see my face because I don't know if you can see it because I'm in a car. Glowing. <laughs> but it really felt, yeah, it felt like glowing. He said like, and of course we did some stuff and we, of course we shifted stuff, but it really felt like he said, also the people around you, it feels like you're, you're allowing support into your life and you're allowing to be supported and you are supported. And I, and what you said about the community, I'm like, yes. Yes. So it's like, for me, it's like, it's just an affirmation of what you said is that this is an awesome community and we are doing really, really good things. And um, let's just keep on going because it's, yeah. And it, to me, it was a beautiful affirmation coming from him that, um, that we are, that, that, that this is a movement that is just going to keep on going and moving forward. And yeah, it's beautiful. So. No, that is a beautiful affirmation because I do know who Jared Hewitt is and he is awesome. I really like Jared Hewitt and he is very perceptive of energy and just what's going on, like, you know, with a person. And so I think that's pretty neat. That's a very high compliment to get that from him. And so, yeah, yeah. <laughs> let's <Yes. keep> go. <laughs> let's celebrate that. So. That is a um, and then just, and just really quickly before I, before I forget, um, next Tuesday, I do want to emphasize that call, which yes. Annette and I are going to have, which is all about um, essential oils during and after chemo treatment, right? For cancer, after. Yep, and so, yep. 
I'm really excited about that. So I have some cards. If anybody wants any cards, of course, somewhere in there that are going through cancer. And there's a lot of questions around the post. Uh -oh. A lot of time to Anetta, too, um, because she is the expert. Anna Marie? Am I breaking up? Okay. Just um, a, anyway. A bit. No, you're good. You're Go good. ahead, Megan. Take it. You're good. You're good. Okay. So I just want I just want to I just want to promote mm -hmm. that for next um, for next week to please um, promote that and and see if you can get people on the call um, that either like a lot of people I think a lot of people could use that that call because a lot of people have, have know at least somebody who who's going through cancer right so yes. um, so yeah let's let's celebrate that. No, I think that's going to be really cool. And um, yeah, and I remembered that today too. Like I have a little pop up on my phone that tells me what the schedule is for the Tuesday night calls. And so I was like, okay, next week, you know, that's, you know, that's symptom management for during, you know, be, you know, during and after cancer treatment. So yeah, let's make sure that we really amp it up for next week and just invite everybody, um, you know, cause it, it is going to be a really cool call. And we really do know a lot of people that are dealing with this right now. And it's, you know, it's, it's a pervading issue. And so let's make sure that we are sharing this information with folks because this is something that people really do need. And uh, I look forward to hearing from you and Annette. I think this is going to be a fabulous call. Well, and I will tell you, and then I'll really shut up. Uh, but I will tell you that, <laughs> our, that. Our, our calls are actually getting better. I love this tonight. I actually love tonight. I, I, so let's download that to YouTube so a lot of people can access it as well. I get more and more people who say, oh, I'm listening to the recordings. So, and again, today, it's like, I don't have time after I come back from work, but I always listen. A lot more people listen to the recordings, I think, than we realize. So, and, and, and they're getting to be really good calls. Yeah. So, anyway, good job today. Awesome. <laughs> Wonderful. Um, yes. And we worked out the recording. So did you just set up the recording beforehand, Anna-Marie, just out of curiosity? Yeah, there is an option to record as soon as you get on. And so okay. I did that. And this is all one giant recording, right? This is one big recording. Yep. Okay. Well, people can listen to the business part afterwards too, or they can turn it off either way. Um, great. All right. So cool. Awesome. Well, I think, yeah, that pretty much wraps it up for the most part, but yes. Yeah, so next Tuesday night, 7 PM, same time, same place. Um, Anna Marie definitely has lots of invitations. So if you, you know, can get to Anna Marie's place in the next you know, couple days, grab some invitations and start sending them out. Um, I think, Anna Marie, I like how you mentioned earlier today that you'd like Scipio invitation to go out a little bit sooner. So we'll, I'll try and, uh, or whoever, um, but I can definitely help with that. Try and get the Scipio invitation out sooner, maybe like Sunday, so that people then can really start planning on the call and get it into their calendars. Yeah, what I really would like to see there ultimately is have the Scipio call go out to announcement earlier. And then for all of us to remind people that are close to us that we think could really benefit just be before the call because there is a good to have a reminder just before the call i just don't want to send that to everybody um, yeah. i really think we can take an individual responsibility right and and 10 minutes before the call start texting some people and say hey 10 minutes we have the call yeah. um but then they have at least a basic call uh, and they know what it's about before before mm -hmm. sounds good okay well we'll make sure that happens then and so next tuesday is our um symptom management for cancer treatment you know during and after um, so we'll promote that and uh, noon call every day this week. Um, we'll get together. Well, I guess, except for Saturday, right? Or I don't know, maybe we are doing Saturday, but at noon this week, we are going to meet up and we're going to, you know, do follow up during that hour. And uh, it really is worthwhile. You know, Sean and I had a great time doing it on there. I think Anna Marie did too. Pretty sure she did. Um, and I know that you will too. So as much as you can try to come on there and let's try to make it a habit so that, you know, following up with people, you know, we just do it like that. And it's not even a thought anymore. It's just something we do. It's a re, you know, it's a reaction. It's just a reflex or whatever. Uh -huh. But um, yes, yeah, so let's come on there. And then next Tuesday promote, but let's keep being awesome guys, because we really do have such a great community. So that's all I've got. Any other thoughts before we part? No, but thank you, Megan. Thanks for coming on, Jen. Thank you for sharing your awesome experiences. There were some really good ones in there. I was like, wow, <laughs> she's a wealth of information. <laughs> That's the community's great. It's what we are. Okay. All right. Well, thank you everybody for coming on and staying on. Um, it's been an awesome hour. I, de I definitely learned a lot. And uh, um, so Anna Marie, um, is the recording for this going to be on your cloud? Is that how you're doing this right now? I'm assuming. 
Yeah, that's on my cloud. So if you want to download it to YouTube, that would be great. Okay. And then Sean, I can put it up uh, on the website. That'd be awesome. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. All right. Hey. No. Okay. Thank you. All right, Shauna. Well, I'll get with you then later and we'll get the recording up. So. All right. Thank you, Megan. Great call tonight. Thank you. Thanks for all your help too. Okay, everybody. Have a great night and I'll see you later. Good night. Good night. Good night.